in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed now put your name wherever you see Sarah, put your name and prophesy it convincingly. Oh, Turn it into a prayer. Do for me, O oh God. What I cannot do for myself. Do for me, O oh God. I just the oil that's what I need just bring the oil drop it on the altar thank you hallelujah it is my prayer that from tonight your life will change in a very remarkable way life is full of choices you can choose to let today be like any other day you can make up your mind that today will be my day of encounter you can make up your mind that today will be my day of liberty you can make up your mind that today will be the day that I break open to new levels of grace new dimensions hallelujah I want us to realize that every time God speaks it is because he has examined himself and concluded that he has the power to make it happen are we together before God speaks a thing he looks at himself that's what it means to be faithful is his name It's not an attribute he looks at himself so if he says I want to bless you and lift you he first searches do I have the capacity to make this happen if he does not have the capacity to make it happen he will not speak and God has declared he's opened up this series to us it is because he wants to bless us in the name of Jesus I'll teach you just two laws to light just two more laws please get success system part one and part two get it even if you were here it's free part one and part two 
listen to this these are the keys that we operate in this kingdom i was teaching the school of ministry students yesterday and i was telling them how that don't ever be confused that we're operating in two systems everybody say two systems there is the kingdom of darkness the world system of doing things are we together and there is god's system of doing things if you follow the world system of doing things you will be frustrated for sure you will be unfulfilled for sure you will live a life of pain and misery and frustration for sure you may laugh temporarily you may pretend that it is working but i assure you as surely as the sun rises and sets you will find out that eventually your life will be full of disappointment i have been sharing with us the laws that are responsible for dramatic breakthroughs write this down the first thing i want you to write is nothing happens on its own nothing happens on its own failure does not happen on its own success does not happen on its own lifting does not happen on its own stepping into a realm of the anointing does not happen on its own a business does not grow and expand on its own a ministry does not become great on its own every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws write it every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws l-a-w-s laws principles keys a door does not open because you want to enter your desire to enter is not the seed for open doors access to the key is what opens the door you can stand in front of a door you can wish to enter you can hope to enter you can even ask to enter you can beg to enter but the door will not open it was not designed to open just from wishing whoever possesses the key is the one who opens the door have you seen a very big door being controlled by a small key and because that key is missing you can stand outside from morning till night is that true and so the things that we are going to be learning tonight especially for the laws i'll be sharing with you i pray that god will help you and give us understanding to believe them in jesus name let's recap on the laws we've been discussing so far right from part one can you open your notes and let's just quickly look at them law number one help me please the law of relationships very important i don't care who you are i don't care what you studied i don't care what school you went to relationship um is very key to success who you know matters don't say who you know does not matter no sir you are people away from your destiny you ignore those people you never get there you will find god but you may never arrive there all blessings come from god through men to you please repeat it after me from god through men to me one more time from god through men to me it never comes from god to you directly it comes from god through men to you there is an impartation that is coming from god it's leaving heaven but it's going to pass through men to you are we together your prosperity comes from god when it comes from men you're in trouble it comes from god but men have always been channels I told us when we started that anything money can buy relationships can buy i don't care what it is name anything you know on earth that requires money to get relationships when you pay money you don't pay stones you pay men you don't pay goods you don't pay animals when you give money the sky does not pick the money it gives it to the men they can choose to allow your relationship pay for it are we together that's law number one what's law number two help me the law of value never forget this another word for the law of value is the law of difference you can call it the law of reward that my relevance as far as success is concerned is tied to 
the solutions I can provide and the problems I can solve. You're not solving any problem. You are unnecessary and will not be needed. There's no sentiment about it. Are we together? A sick person needs a doctor. If someone who wants furniture needs a carpenter. Is that true? Yes. You must find your place in the realm of greatness by becoming unique at your giftings, value, whatever ability you have. Never ask for a dimension you do not have the value to exchange for it. The law of value works based on a reward system. Lord, I want you to give me 1,000 members. You must rise to the place where you sustain spiritual value in terms of grace, revelation, access, understanding, and content to be trusted with those kinds of people. When you rise to that level of anointing, you don't have to call them. They will come in response to it. So if you pastor 12 people, don't sit down and complain and get angry and say, I, I saw in my vision that I'm pastoring a nation. But as you increase in value, are we together? The day three dead people are raised from your church, you don't need to publicize for new people. Journalists will come, you don't need to invite them. Is that true? Listen, I want you to take this, take this very law, Lord, too, very seriously. The law of value. That means if people ignore me, if everywhere I go I am ignored, it's not because they hate me. I am not a contributor. Are we together now? The world celebrates contributors, not, not takers. Unfortunately, we live in a society that is full of takers. What is in this for me? And life tells you there are all kinds of blessings, but only a portion for those who have the ability and the grace to contribute. Are we together? Whoever solves the problem gets the reward. Goliath of God was roaring and there was a throne. There was a wife. There was a tax-free opportunity. Everybody was afraid to confront that challenge. But a young teenager called David came and said, Saul, I'm able to take on Goliath. And he said, what shall be done for the one who does this? He will get a wife. His family will be freed from tax and he will be honored. David said, I take up that challenge. Do you know it was a risk? If Goliath killed David, they would say, we said it. Now go and bury him. And um, Jesse, take it easy. You have other sons. So it was a risk. Standing between you and your throne is a problem to solve. The kinds and the quality of problems you solve determines the reward that comes to you. Are we together? Yes. That's why there are different kinds of restaurants based on the quality that they produce. Are we together? The amount you pay for this chair is not the amount you pay for the white chair you are sitting on. Why? They are all chairs, but qualities. Even among the stars, one excelleth above another in glory. That determines your, your, your reward. It is foolish to give so little to life and demand so much. No. Your reward is commensurate to your value. So if I think my financial returns is small, that simply means I am solving small problems or solving problems for small people. Whoever solves a millionaire's problems has access to a millionaire's finance. Are we together? Yes. The tailor who sold your cloth is laughing with your money now in his house. You parted with that money because you could not sow for yourself. The day you learn how to sow, you will stop paying him. Is that true? Ladies and mothers, you went to the market today. You woke up in the morning with money in your pocket. Now that money is not there. Where did it go to? It went to the one who solved the problem you were looking for. So if all you do is keep meeting problem solvers, you will be broke. Because money will continue to leave you to them. The day you join them as a problem solver, somebody's money now comes to you. Are we together? When you solve more problems than your needs, you become rich irrecoverably. More problems than your needs. Your needs are 10,000. The problems you solve is 1,000. You are minus 9,000. That's a life of frustration. Up today, down tomorrow. Are we blessed? The law of value. The key to getting out of a life of complex, 
a life of inferiority it's not just to say people don't like me oh i am this i came from this village all that is nonsense the world will throw away every excuse to honor valuable people there are sport athletes who sometimes have to speak their native languages and they will interpret nobody has forced them to speak english you know why because what they are doing is their sports their field their footballers that you see with all kinds of things regardless of their limitations they chase after them who pursues you is a sign of your value who pursues you if weak and low and beggarly people seek you is a sign that that is the quality of the value you provide for them if great influential people pursue you is a sign that that is the value listen every man's financial destiny with respect to value and solution provision is left in his hands it's left the hand of god long ago it's in your hands we have a very funny world that believes people should just bless you and give you money for doing nothing and i always ask that question who do you think you are the world is made up of 7.2 billion people who wake up every morning looking for who can solve their problems and you don't solve any problem you see that's why arm robbery and corruption is bad you see that a corrupt person has reward without value you see why we say corrupt people are bad so we see someone building houses and estates but we and whose problem did you solve if you can show us the problem you solve we don't have a problem with the rewards whether financial or otherwise so next time you ever see a rich man don't be angry find out what value what problem they are solving that answers the question as to whether pastors should be blessed or not i'm not talking of a life of extravagance you know most times when people see pastors blessed they say ah, just for talking that's the thinking of a fool the words i speak unto you they are what spirit and life a pilot is paid over 0.5 million per month why because he's flying people across places that's someone's salary for decades and someone just finishes an aviation school within two years or three years and is receiving over 500,000 is the value every accident from a plane crash ends in death immediately except some divine intervention comes so that's a risk are we together you sit down and for 50 minutes sometimes eight hours when you are traveling from africa to asia 90 percent of your journey is across water you don't see a single land and somebody is risking to take you over 45 50 thousand um, um, uh, feet above sea level now that's mastery so he's rewarded you who didn't have the courage to go to that school you are the payer and the pilot who risks himself is the recipient the day you are angry what do you do you go to the school when you learn it are we together do not ever frown at a rich man again do not ever insult rich people we have this ugly most of our loved ones sincere people but they are truthfully speaking not offering any value and whenever they see blessed people they say see them see them it's a terrible way of living next time you see great people don't be angry find out what they are doing that you're not doing the law of value number three the law of competence and excellence closely related to the law of value value as a raw material is useless it must be refined before it is rewardable value must be refined before it is rewardable value as a potential is not rewardable it's the same thing as seeing crude oil as a dark paste of smelly substance but when you pass it through the required operations then you produce foil you produce other um, other very useful um, um, what do we call it now very useful 
things that are required for home for cars and whatever you have and then they reward them competence is very important i taught you that excellence is a language it draws certain people to you the same way if i speak yoruba now every yoruba person hears immediately and they respond if i say praise the lord in yoruba will you answer in english you will answer in yoruba because i spoke your language if i say praise the lord in hausa all who understand hausa will answer back if i say praise the lord in Igbo or whatever language i use that's how excellence is excellence is a language in other words whoever understands me you are invited so if you do not come to the seat of excellence it's a sign you did not hear the language and you are not invited two excellent people can come into your life and reward you the equivalent of 1000 people excellence is powerful you must be accurate you must be serious with whatever you are doing you are a tailor be excellent you are a hairdresser be excellent you are a preacher be excellent excellent requires thoroughness excellence requires exposure excellence requires having a reference excellence requires consistent development consistent development outsmarting your own records surpassing ordinary standards that's excellence anything not done excellently is not worth being seriously rewarded are we together you make yam and egg sauce but the plate is not excellent it's not washed dirty plate dirty spoon you are not serious it's a sign you don't believe in your business i shouldn't come there are we together you are by that atmosphere attracting certain kinds of people the day you change your plate you are serious when people come into your restaurant you greet them you smile you're welcome sir please be seated how may we help you oh i need so 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 and so do you have cold water oh we don't have cold water here sir but we can get it for you wow he calls his colleagues because experience markets i just found a restaurant when i came here they are so cautious they are nice they are wonderful people i shouted at them and truly i later realized that i was wrong yet they apologized are we together i finished eating and i was happy you are a cab driver people enter your car you don't just frown where are you going i'm going to sabo oh yeah let's go when you reach you just pack so oh, yeah okay, come down my money you will attract certain kinds of people but one day one rich man will disguise himself and sit down in your cab and you greet him hello sir thank you so much my joy to pick you where exactly are you going to sir? Sir, oh really you have something doing there sir thank you before you know it he looks at you how much is it 300 naira can you give me a discount well sir honestly i would love to but it may not be possible i sincerely apologize let's leave it at 300 not lie lie 300 i've been walking in the morning that's a terrible person are you learning the law of excellence there's no need you can be nice loving yet firm is 300 and then you drop the person um sir would you want my contact details i'm always available for you my advantage is that i live within zaria i don't have to come from Sabo. if you need me i'll be ready to help you before you know it that driver attracts three or four or five people now everybody is driving but one is doing it excellently your car is neat you don't come and your car is smelling around doing all kinds of things you're driving someone he stops later on the road say okay how will we do now there are too many people who are not excellent they do regular things and they want extraordinary rewards listen stop excellence is doing ordinary things in an extraordinary way are we together i'm just recapping on these laws very important you must be excellent you are a hairstylist keep your saloon clean you are a tailor you don't have to show us you are a tailor by pieces of fabrics all around you can organize your place are we together organize your place you can buy an ac buy a fan get a television let people come and be watching something you 
must be excellent you must be competent say i receive grace to be competent if you're frying akara on the road you can make your akara the best in samaru the best in zaria find out what can i add to this akara that will make it very nice maybe the packaging someone comes to take pap why don't you say okay let me get a little trampoline just at a corner here what if he's a, a respected personality wants to come and take akara and pap does he have to sit down under smoke i said that's how we do it here sorry the cups are full people are drinking the pap and he's sitting down he's hungry and doesn't have all that time but he has to wait for somebody to finish taking his pap then you quickly rinse it and pour his own no no that is a dirty environment a dirty lifestyle and a life of mediocrity why don't you get different kinds of cops you have brains discern people somebody comes looking as a smart gentleman then you can start doing certain things make some cops factor your cost into it get a little if you if you want take away you package it well don't just squeeze a, a newspaper a wire paper or a, a jam paper i don't know who wrote what there there is ink you are putting hot akara on blue ink are we together now no why don't you use what's the name of this paper ladies foil paper right why don't you change if you still must use that your own akara you put it first in a foil paper and wrap it factor your cost into it everybody say excellence get a clean table clean table put everything you're welcome sit down sir and then you'll be surprised one day somebody will tell you i have a little get together and we just decided we are rich people so it's not like we're looking for what to eat but we just want to eat akara and pap and you are the one who will make it and you'll be saying i used to sell it 10 10 naira. i said no no no, we don't do that we're giving you fifty thousand. whatever you can make just make and bring not everybody is threatened by price there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality don't ever be deceived that everybody is asking how much no there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality they are interested in an experience not price law number what's what's the fourth law law of what very powerful law that you must never forget as it is in your mind so it will be in your life realities are first shaped in your mind before shaped in your life you don't become neat physically first no neatness starts in your mind if you are dirty in your mind and you are neat physically in three days your environment will change to look like what your mind is do not try to correct things first from the physical correct it from the mind are we together yes if you are lazy don't just try to prompt yourself change it from the mind everything that is wrong with your physical environment came from your mind environmental conditioning genetic conditioning you have to change your mind that's why the bible says to renew our mind by the word of god i've seen people who you try to adjust their lives and temporarily they adjust but like a rubber ring you must return back to your default position you don't believe in honor because you don't know it it is not a mindset somebody whips you and says are you not going to greet him and say good afternoon sir and then in five minutes you are back to your default position of being rude and lousy it is terrible to try to fake physically something that is not a reality in your mind you will betray yourself eventually so the key to lasting change is to first create that correction from your mindset and then naturally it will flow if you are a a dishonorable person the key is to first change your mindset are we together if you are a loud person change your mindset the law of the mind is powerful many people have changed their lives because they changed their mindset some of you before you came for koinonia you insulted men of God and insulted everyone. You joined your parents, you joined your loved ones, you joined other men of God to tear down other people. But as you came, the word of God did something to your thinking. Is that true? 
there was an adjustment and you made up your mind that I will love all men. I leave judgment to God. Now, you don't try to not insult people. You are free already. There are some of you, like we spoke about excellence, some of you were not excellent at all. But when you came just by observation, you felt, Kai, I have to be this. I should iron my clothes. I, I'm used to wearing clothes that I don't iron. I don't care whether it's ironed or not. But now I realize it's not the price of the clothes. It's who wears it. So I iron my clothes, even if it is 200 naira. I don't allow my socks to be smelling around and then I now wear it. No. Mindset. The most helpless person on earth is one who is resistant to mental transformation. Anybody who is resistant to mental transformation, there's nothing you can do with that person. The law of the mind. That's law number what? Law number five. The law of faith. I'll teach you two laws now very quickly and then we'll pray. The law of faith. We're teaching success systems. The fifth law is the law of faith. Say after me, the law of faith. F-A-I-T-H. The law of faith. The law of faith. If you will ever succeed in life, you will need to use your faith. What is faith? Faith is the action you take based on the conviction you have about God and his word. Faith is the action you take, the name given to the action, not just the belief, the action that is taken based on conviction, obedient action based on conviction and the word of God being the source of that conviction. That's called faith. So when I take action based on the understanding of the word of God I have, my heart is full of conviction and it, com it compels my life to respond accordingly. I am walking in faith. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is not obedience. There must be an instruction before obedience. Faith is not just conviction. That's called belief. That you believe a thing does not mean you have faith. Faith is belief plus obedience. Conviction plus obedience. Many people claim they have faith. They only believe the word of God. Are we together? Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. Nobody will give you a guarantee for success. You will have to use your faith. Nobody will give you a guarantee for success. Read it. Everybody is projected. One to read. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? In other words, when God speaks, it is within his power. To make it come to pass. Say God has the ability. To make his word come to pass. Say it one more time. God has the ability. To make his word come to pass. Write the following things down. Number one. You will have to take risks. To succeed. You will have to take risks. To succeed. In 2010, during our Kingdom Wealth Summit, I taught in the business session that faith in the realm of success and especially in business and all of that is spelled R-I-S-K. That's the spelling of faith. We live in a world of people who are so risk averse, so fearful, they will never do anything. Christians are some of the most fearful people in terms of taking action. It's one thing to wait upon the Lord and to wait for seasons. But it's another thing for you to know that this is a season and you close your eyes and take a step of faith. Brothers and sisters, if you must meet Jesus, you must walk on that water. If it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. There are too many people who will not take action 
you will not start that business because you are afraid i watch somebody lose i don't want to lose money i don't want to lose my shop i don't want to do this what if the birds die africa is full of what ifs and we never take action stand up and do something what if i apply and i don't get the job it will be that i wasted money it would take five thousand for me to go and submit my cv in lagos it will take another five thousand for me to return maybe i will need to book a hotel ten thousand and stay two days if i spend thirty thousand just to submit my cv what if i don't get the job there is no guarantee there is no uncle there we live in an age of fearful people risk averse people Every champion, every world changer, listen to me, is a person of risk. Abraham, take your son. It's a risk. The law of faith. A time must come in your success equation where you have to close your eyes and like Esther say, if I perish, I perish. Failure is not the end of life. Don't fear failure. When you fear failure, you program it to happen in your life. Great people are not those without failures. Listen carefully. Great people are those who have learned how to rise even when they fall. The brand 7up. For years I didn't know why it was called 7up until I began to study brands and I found out that it was called 7up because the person tried 6 times, 6 times and failed. It was the seventh time that he succeeded that's why he called it seven up so six down and then seven up you drink it and you are happy but you are drinking somebody's success after failure what if he stopped the sixth time what if he stopped the sixth time like many of you have stopped most christians think because god said to do something means that you will succeed automatically you will still go through the law of process and many times it will require failure why failure because you have to learn why failure because you have to build mastery why failure because you have to understand how things work the body of christ thinks prophecy is just an escape route from going through the law of process make no mistakes when you see people rise they have made mistakes that you did a business and failed does not mean god did not speak to you and believers will be the first to tell you sam i warned you don't open a shop i told you there's no money in zaria you claim that God told you you opened a shop after one week and robbers came and waylaid you. And by it, they will say, I saw a vision. It's just that I didn't know how to tell you. And based on that vision, you close the shop and remain broke. That's why many Christians are poor, broke, and mediocre. You sit down wishing, I will do something one day until somebody just gets up and does it. There is a vacancy. I don't know anybody. Oh, should I apply? Should I not apply? And you are sitting there and you watch somebody with less qualifications than you. Go and submit the CV. Listen, the world only honors men of action. Not just men of wish. Men of action. After all the planning and everything, you must take action. You must take action. I want to start the school forever you have not done anything apostle god called me to be a millionaire ceo you said this thing in the year 2000 you've not registered one company millions have passed through your hands you've not done anything i will do this i will do that the world is full of people at 84 they tell you when i was 20 years i wanted to do this and for 64 years they couldn't do anything The fearful and the cowardly never become great. Write it down. The law of faith. The fearful and the cowardly never become great. There are people today, I will learn how to drive in the name of Jesus. You started two weeks, one, one truck just passed near you and you said, it's not by force. The first time you, you went to a driving lesson, you were 19. Now you are almost 40. You can't take a car by the road. Why? Not because there are no cars. <laughs> I don't want to die. But somebody needs to carry you from one place to the other. Yet you see some of these house boys. Have you seen them during Salah? Nine years old on bike. They don't think of failure. All of them, they learn how to ride bike in two hours. They learn how to drive their buses within two days. Their orgas pack it for them in PZ. 
and then while they are gisting, the boys are the ones who still keep pushing it and that's how they learn in two weeks they have learned you see somebody who cannot drive anything driving to mina and you see risks that should kill him listen brothers and sisters fear runs away from courageous people fear itself as a spirit is afraid of certain people the cowardly in life never become anything one guy called me one time and he said apostle um, we were going to I, I think it's a crusade or so somewhere and he said apostle sorry is it possible for us to call you if we are stranded I said no I didn't send you go there and go to that field and experience what it means to have supernatural testimonies go and stand there there are coppers the moment they post them you are here they post them to Bielsa I don't know anybody you see everybody please call on Kudis call on that how old are you 30 ah. because of inaction many of our parents the day they were leaving the village the only thing they left with was a blessing they returned back home after 20 years successful their parents just told them talk don't pursue women don't drink beer love God be serious we bless you bye bye when they came into the city they knew nobody but their God and they started listen let me teach you something never over pamper people give them an opportunity to take action especially for those of us who are rich love your children love everybody but don't over pamper people you must give people room to take action it is god that protects most of us that's why we have weak men today we have men who are like women you know why there is too much over pampering a young boy tells you he wants to write wayek and you tell him sit down and come up with an idea how much is the form seven thousand okay think of something you can do to raise two thousand and he comes out after three hours playing computer games and he said i could not think of anything are there no grasses in people's houses to weed are we together that's why we raise a lot of irresponsible people what's wrong with meeting someone and say sir i am a young boy who is trying to um i want to move forward my parents do not have the opportunity to help me please sir can you allow me weed your grass my budget is six thousand i don't know how much this will be but i can weed your grass i can call my friends and you look at a young man walking his way to greatness and you can say go ahead and weed it and instead of giving him one thousand or two thousand you can give him three thousand and your number you have helped that boy are we together there are many people who do not want to take action there are many men today who lost their jobs since year 2000 till today they've been given all kinds of flimsy excuses that's why we love prophecy because we think prophecy is an excuse for responsibility say in the name of jesus i receive grace tonight to take action give us job 325 never fear failure write it down never fear failure never fear failure for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which i was afraid of is come unto me this is job speaking never fear failure when you fear failure you create the you activate the law of expectation failure don't be afraid of stepping into the unknown be guided yes but know that no matter how people love you you will have to take that action god is speaking to someone here your excuses are over you are getting older and older and you're not getting established why because i am i don't get my uncle promised me when i was in 200 level now your uncle is dead stop crying thank god for your your father said he would not help you you must sit down and tell yourself i'm not going to beg again i sit down something let me tell you heaven will back those who will take action and be serious you are waiting for marriage to bail you out you are a lazy person you are a very very lazy person 
there are many men who are looking for wives i don't have a problem with our ladies honestly in terms of responsibility my challenge especially over action is for brothers there are some of you looking at me right now you are growing older but your sense of responsibility is still at a zero level no action if at age 30 you are still calling home mom C, will you send me something pop C, will you send me something listen to me very carefully you are on your way to being an irresponsible husband irresponsible father you don't become responsible just because a ring entered your hand you must be a father first before you have children it is not children that make you a father it's from the word abba the consciousness to be a provider are we together you are a man here and you are not catering for your family they may not have the courage to tell you but i'm telling you now you are failing god in that family are we together I wish I had the opportunity to reach some of our loved ones. Let me tell them. It's a shame when a daughter, a son, turns to their father and says, Father, it's, it's time. I, I need to buy a shirt. And the man says, what will I do? Sir, I'm, a, I'm in final year. I need money for my project. Should I kill myself? I tell you the truth. That is irresponsibility to the core. What should that person do? You are simply saying, go and be a prostitute. I don't care. Action. Today we are here by the grace of God because of action. After you plan, you must act. When you fail, you stand up, re-strategize and move forward. Let them laugh at you. The ones who are laughing at you have not taken action. That's why. You see, let me tell you. Anybody they are not talking about is because he's not doing anything. It's not because they like you. It's because you have not done anything yet. The law of faith. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. Please give it to us. Every great man will tell you that he pursued the unknown. Every great man will tell you he took steps when there was no guarantee. It is usually when we see the results that we think the people had any guarantee. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given to you. It says, seek and seek although you have not found it seek it listen when i started doing something about my finances i didn't know how to move from point a to point b i started the journey to success understanding it in 2004 until then it was just gambling understanding but i made up my mind 2004 i said i would learn these systems i didn't know anything no opportunity for mentorship almost everybody around me was not really making it and i said no i have to learn i remember getting dr miles monroe's books and i started from there i didn't know but i began to seek listen let me tell you do not think knowledge will come and meet you and spoon feed you pursuit is the proof of passion you must be passionate enough to pursue it i watch people right now i don't know how many times seeking for uncommon mentors in the rain in the sun and little discomfort and he says, sorry uh, the way my hair is eh? every time i'm listening once there's heat it destroys me you are not and i let the ladies do it that's all right god created them that, that but you as a man i have headaches so i won't listen to the message <laughs> That means that Panadol is far from you because the grace and the resources to buy it will come through what enters your ears. Brother, say in the name of Jesus. I didn't shout it in the name of Jesus. From this night, I declare that the days of wishing are over. I take action now start that business go and submit your cv don't sit down tell yourself by september i should be walking that's faith by september i should be walking and see whether the god of all flesh will not make it happen lord i have failed but i'm starting again i i see the mistakes i made i don't have any capital now but lord i trust in you If you fall and remain there then you have really failed 
But if you fall and you still stand up, you have not failed. Are we together? Everybody say courage. Shout it, courage. There is nobody. I have watched people in this ministry rise up with no guarantee of anything. And today God has honored them. You must be courageous. Joshua was now going to be a leader over several people. Several people. God did not tell him, Joshua, make sure you eat well oh, so that you don't collapse. He said, be strong and of good courage. They will act like fools, but be strong. You are a leader. There is an anointing upon you. You watch what we do today by the grace of God and think one uncle just gave money or somebody said, I will give you venue or somebody said, no, nobody gives you any guarantee. Stop insulting your uncles, your aunties, your brothers and sisters and say, nobody is supporting me. Let your faith support you. Let your faith support you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let your faith support you. You had a dream and you saw yourself submitting a CV in Ibadan. Apostle, but I've never gone there. I'd like you to prepare and trust God for grace. Share the idea with two or three people. Carry your CV and go to the park in the night. You are in Kaduna Park. Where are you going? In Ibadan. And see whether God, tear your Bible if you go to Ibadan and God does not back you there. He's waiting for you in Ibadan. He's not waiting for you at the place of disobedience. As soon as you get to Ibadan, in the, in the luxurious that you enter, you will now meet somebody. Where are you going? So it's like I know you somewhere. Ah, your sister's graduation. I was a classmate. Really, where are you staying? The miracle starts. The Bible says, this sign shall follow. If you don't take steps, you will not see signs. Apostle, when will I enter? I mean, I need the healing anointing. Must you die before you know you fell under the anointing? You let sick people pass you. Somebody says, I have cancer. And you just say, ah, I remember this cancer is, can, can be transferred. You see, that attitude of unbelief, you will never walk in power. What do you think a miracle service is? A show? Nobody starts with mastery. You see how children walk? They start and then they start crawling. Do you stop them from crawling? Sometimes in a bid to hold the table, they hit their head. Does that mean walking is not possible? How? The child hits the head, you, you rub it. What do you tell the child? Sorry, sorry means sorry for now. Continue. Move again. You love that child, but you cannot walk for the child. The person who stops that child from walking is stopping him from becoming an adult. Are we together? I wrote jam five times. I didn't get it. I will give up. Are you joking? No. Look at jam and say, jam, as for me and you, one of us will give up. One of us will give up. I will walk you and weary you. Where will the money come from? Don't worry. Don't worry. God is alert and active, watching over his word to perform it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, apostle, I'm of age and I need to move from my parents' house now to get a place. But uncle did not send the money. Keep quiet. One day you get up and go and buy a bag with the 2,000 you have. Pack your clothes and say, Daddy, just like you advised me, I'm on my way going. I got one one room somewhere and I'm going. He said, that one room, nothing. There's no carpet. You say, sir, if I don't leave, I will not become a man like you. If I don't leave, I will come. For as long as I come back and I can go to the kitchen, who had part of my yam? You are still a child. You need to push yourself. And you stand up. And while you are moving, God is saying, watch this. The angels are backing. You do not know. All of a sudden, the moment you get there, some brothers from your fellowship will come. And God will speak to somebody. Buy him a rock. The first time you are experiencing miracles by yourself, not in partnership with another person's faith, your faith is growing. And you begin to see that God is faithful for yourself. Uh, Apostle, I think I need a job before I move out of my father's house. How was your father when he moved out of his own father's house? Very fearful people. 
very fearful people. Hallelujah. I teach responsibility, but you must conquer fear. You get out and you stay in that room. It's raining. And water is dropping on you from that one room. And you are just imagining the AC that is in your own house. Exactly. That's what made Moses a savior. Pushed him out. And as that rain is dropping, it drops and does something to your brain. And you say, no more. I can't live like this. I'm seeing the reality of irresponsibility glaring before me. The very next day, you will sell two clothes and buy one book. You are making progress. And sit down. You go and get financial dominion part one, two, three. And sit down. Next time you hear people are fasting, you don't say they are just... See, do you know why many of us don't take action? We have been reaping the harvest of many people's seeds. You think it's your faith that is working. The proof that your faith is working or not, leave all the support and stand alone. Then you will know whether you really have faith. Are we together? There are people who don't know how to trust God. There's this song in my heart. My trust is in you. You know the song? Sam, help me. Just that one song, one minute. I want you to sing that song because I believe God is speaking to somebody. You know the song I'm talking about? Lion of Judah My trust is in you Ancient of days My trust is in you I put them on you My trust is in you Brothers, shout, I take action. Say it again. Someone has got to push you. And some of our parents love us too much to push us. Oh, I'm a graduate. Go and open a Babin saloon. The money you have can buy three clippers. I open it in the name of Jesus. Package a little seed and come and drop it in corn. Not for me, it's a principle, you know it. Go and open the Babin saloon. Are we together? Yes. There are many lazy people moving around. You may not be a millionaire, but from that little God will honor you. Tell yourself, I cannot wait until the day somebody tips me. Everybody that passes you, you are waiting and hoping they drop something. When will you start blessing others? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. And three people come and take action and say there is no ice cream making machine in Zaria. Three of us, let's come together. How much do you have? 500,000. How much do you have? 200,000. How much do you have? 100,000. Let's have an agreement. Let's get one of these shops and make one of the top ice cream machine machines around. You make it the first 20 people free. You launch it. Come and collect a bottle of oil here. I will pray on it with all my heart. You drop it on that shop, it will be like jam. 
Hold on, don't shout. You have never done it. How many times have I spoken about it here? Listen, listen. Action takers are the ones who move forward. You graduated 10 years ago. You submitted your CV twice. And it's because they told you. Who do you want to spoon feed you with a job? Stand up and take action. Fail honorably and come. I will help you. I will pray for you. And you will go back. You are learning how to walk. You are learning how to walk. Everybody say, I will rise again. I'm speaking to people who tried rising. And then you went down. And Christians are usually the ones who say, take it easy. Oh, take it easy. Yeah. This, this decoration, how many people get married in Zaria? You just went to go and spend 200,000 to go and buy all this. Look at the, how many ribbons. You know, you even say you want to do canopy. You better don't destroy yourself. And all of a sudden, you see somebody will come. And just when he's opening the canopy, that's when God is bringing explosion to another church. And they'll say you are the one who is supplying us. Look at those who supply canopies. Imagine if those who supply these canopies now are here in Koinonia every week even if you don't do any other business again yet you are sitting down buying fake things fake whatever to prove levels that you have not gotten to challenge yourself the law of faith you must take action i have taken bold steps in my life bold steps in my life the word trust in the lord proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 is from the word bata. It means throw yourself like you pick one of these are little ones. You see how these my children come to greet me after service. Some of them just run and just fly and expect that I hold them. If I don't hold them, it's still me that will pay for it. Correct? A child runs to the father. You gave birth to me, I didn't ask you. I fly. Pick me. That's what you do to God. When you take action, you put pressure on God's integrity. Lord, you said this. You said it is, it is, it is, um, what about any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel. I'm a married man with three children. Lord, I am tired of allowing, waiting for my wife to come back with 20,000. And that's what we're all feeding from. These children cannot go to school. Lord, I receive grace to take action. I will go and seek advice. I will go and receive prayer. I will receive an impartation, but I will take action. The anointing can come upon you. But you must take action for it to work. When did you ever lay hands on somebody to be healed? Oh, let me run to prayer department. Benga. Or let me run to promise. Or oh, anybody. Let me run to any of the people. Oh, let me run to this. I think I'm hungry. Let me run to the welfare mama. Please ma. You too, you know the way Nigeria is. That if you, if you don't challenge yourself, you will never rise. You need to take action. Take action. Take action yourself no i'm going to be responsible lord i trust you lord i believe you there are many of us who have never sown a seed do you know why because of fear never sown it god cannot even tell you to empty your account yeah, 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 yeah. you will bind bind and cast and curse and say let this voice never speak to me again that's why you can never rise i'll never forget a time the lord gave me an instruction to sow everything over 80% of all my clothes aside from what I did in Port Harcourt and I just carried those things when I sold them it was as if I would die now I live if God tells me to empty my account and empty my life and everything I would do it gladly because I know him I know him not because I like it not because it's convenient when you know God then you'll be able to take certain steps are we together? Yes. listen the workers in this ministry start dressing, arranging chairs and canopies way before people come. Did anybody sign an agreement that by evening all the overflows will be full? It takes faith. We believe what God has said. We believe that we are adding value. And so in the morning, people start preparing. Imagine that you wait until people come. Then you now say, oh, there are plenty of people today. Oh yeah, let's go. Do you know that every space you give God is what he feels? You have not taken action. That's why. Your shop is still small and you are there. God has been prompting your spirit. Move to a bigger one and you say, Ah God, don't mock me. So you will never see the miracle.
the law of faith. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. God is speaking to someone tonight. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. Ah, this thing I've shared it has fired my spirit. And so, everybody read. Talking about Abraham. Read on. And so, after he had patiently endured, did what? Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Hold on my destiny. My trust is in you. Help me sir. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Sing that song with understanding. Put them on you. Sing. My trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. My trust is in you. I say, I put them on you. My trust, my trust is in you. It takes faith to begin to prepare for five children when you are not yet in a relationship. I'm preparing. Oh, I don't want to waste my time. Who will come and marry me? Let the guy come first. When he comes and I'm sure the day he ever says, I will go and see your parents, I will read like never before. You will never marry that way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, five children are going to come out from this womb. You take a step of faith. You have not entered any relationship. Who knows me? Look at that foolish question. What do you mean who knows me? God? The God you serve? You lay your hands, shape, bracket. You are bringing five children from this womb and they will all be a blessing. No giving birth to armed robbers. No giving birth to terrorists. I will not give birth to a son who will kill me because of trouble. You are preparing. You go and buy a book in advance. The power of a praying wife. You go and buy a book. God tells you you marry a man of God. You don't wait until a preacher comes. He may marry you as a civil servant and after five years God calls him into ministry. God didn't lie but you didn't prepare. God told you you are going to be a millionaire and you are waiting and say, God, when you said I'm going to be a millionaire, my palm sanders, everything I have home and abroad is 10,000. I can sell all my clothes for 20,000. That's foolish thinking. You go and buy a book. Lord, you have called me into kingdom financing. You told me I'm going to mentor and raise a generation and bless people. You do it. You put pictures around. Put a picture on your laptop that represents your future. And every time you see it, you prophesy. I may be small now, but in the name of the Lord Jesus, I have no father, I have no support, but I'm coming. I'm coming. I trust the name of the Lord. I may be weak. I may not be able to explain to people I'm doing something. They may even say you are lazy. What are you always doing in a room? Why are you always sitting down when you say, I'm building my mind? They say, what is mine? Are we going to eat mine? Just continue. The day God honors you. Then you will stand and sing this song that we are singing tonight. I believe that there is an anointing on this song this night. That people have to trust God. Take action. Trust God. It takes faith to be great. It takes faith to have a healing ministry. Nobody gives you a guarantee that anybody will be healed. It takes faith to be a man of God. It takes faith to be a businessman. It takes faith to be a wife and a mother. You are not allowed to have a child ordinarily before marriage. So how do you know you are fruitful? It takes faith. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. The ancient of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. There are people who will never build a house in their lives. Many of our fathers, their salaries were 150. Now they are retired. There is no house. You know why? Because of fear. I will build it one day. I don't have enough money. Then God granted you grace. They created one scheme in your job and gave everybody land. Four plots of land is more than enough to build a family house. Mostly, their wives will tell them, honey, build, build. 
time is going this how much is the money there's one money i'm expecting it will come tomorrow god said you have hundred thousand it can bring one tip of sand go and bring it and pour it on the side that's faith you are saying lord i'm starting this out the hand of zerubbabel that started when you start god begins to move people i remember the first day we bought equipment i remember one by one one by one i remember when i started buying you know not even just for ministry for myself to think and say one day i'll get a laptop is a joke a laptop who gives you the money see hear me this god is a good god worship team told us already this god is a faithful god but while you are waiting for him i don't know who i'm speaking to this night god is saying i'm tired of waiting for you take a step 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 who told you the business will fail take a step are we together take a step ah i have one million naira now i'm thinking of starting small poultry i'm thinking of getting a little golf but i hear that this cars used to spoil a bee and that your profit doesn't come out so you remain there until the day somebody comes usually those kind of people will sit down and then something will happen you will carry hundred thousand from it something will happen they will invite you for one event that doesn't have head and tail and they will massage your ego and you will know when you carry three hundred thousand on behalf of me and my wife i donate this money and the money has finished and you'll never be successful success systems the law of faith every great man walks on water every great man walks on water it is your faith that turns that water to concrete we're going to sing this song one more time and then i'll go to the next law but i want you to sing it with understanding i have trusted men they have failed me i have trusted systems i trusted my certificate it failed me lord i lift my eyes and i trust in you you are the one who can wipe my tears my uncle promised me and disappointed me many have concluded that because i finished with the past there is no greatness that's what the devil wants to do all the time to make you not trust god but i'm challenging men of faith lion of judah my trust is in you My trust is in you. Psalm 89 verse 17 the law of favor Lord I pray that somebody will get this in the name of Jesus I pray that somebody will get this Psalms 89 verse 17 for thou art the glory of their strength and in thy favor shall our horn be exalted favor is the number one reason people succeed favor is the number one reason 
the number one reason why you will succeed is favor. You need favor to achieve your goals and dreams. You need favor to achieve your goals and dreams. It is impossible to get to the place of destiny without favor. No, sir. You've heard people say that one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. It is hardly an exaggeration. One day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. Many people do not have favor in their lives. Why? Because they are not taught what favor is and how to release favor in their lives. Those who are even taught favor are only taught one side of favor. And it's like whenever you say favor, we leave it on to God. God just favor us now. No. There is an exact equation that leads to favor. Favor is not a miracle. Write it down. Favor is a reaction favor is not a miracle favor is a reaction you can program favor in your life a reaction means that it is a response favor is a reaction it's not a miracle favor miracles can happen and do happen but favor is not a miracle what is favor let's define favor favor is when someone is willing to invest their life their time their resources their credibility to help you achieve your goals that's favor when somebody is willing to participate in your success it's called favor when someone is willing to invest their life invest their credibility invest their money invest their knowledge into you to help you achieve your goals it's called favor favor is not just unmerited access that's a very limited thinking limited teaching limited definition and is the reason why let me tell you whether it is merited or unmerited favor is access calling it unmerited alone is very limited favor can be merited favor can be merited your obedience and understanding the bible says good understanding secures favor favor can be merited what is favor someone willing to sacrifice their resources to help you succeed All success are related to favor. All success. Whether all kinds of success. Financial success. Ministry success. Business success. Marital success. They are directly related to favor. All success testimonies you want to write. All success testimonies are related to favor. I have heard so many success testimonies. There is not one of them that is not related to favor. There is a gap in that testimony. All success testimonies are related to favor. Are you learning something? Write this down. Who likes you matters in your success. Who likes you matters in your success. Brothers and sisters, one man called Ahasuerus hated one, one woman and her entire life crumbled just because one person of influence hated her. Are we together? The same man who hated one woman and destroyed her entire life turned and loved Esther and her life changed overnight from a village girl to a queen. Who likes you matters. Now, many Christians think it doesn't matter. I don't care who likes me or who doesn't like me. If you are speaking in terms of dependence,
dependence on God, I understand that context. But in terms of channels to release favor, is a joke. Who likes you matters. There are people listening to me from Joss. We came back from Joss. And um, while I went to minister in Joss, you know, part of the system of honor for me, there was a little girl, lovely lady, and that they gave this thing they put on the neck and flower, you know, just to greet me. And as soon as I got into the hotel, there were people lined up and the little girl was standing. And then, you know, we come, you know, recite. I didn't even know what she was saying. You know, you are welcome to so and so and so. And then put that thing and then gave me. And I looked at the lady and I fell in love with that dear girl instantly. And I told her, I said, do you know what? You are my friend. When I came on stage, I made sure that they looked for her. Ten years old. And she stood because I liked her not because i know her i just liked her the next day i said they should bring her to the hotel we would drive together it was together i was gisting with her and i looked at the lady and i said i want to do something for you i want to do something for your family please bring your mother i want to see her now the rest is history but that little girl's life changed in two days simply because somebody liked her do not let anyone lie to you that who likes you does not matter. I don't mean who wants to sleep with you. Who likes you, likes you, like from heaven, likes you to change your life. Let me tell you the truth. Listen, listen, listen. Take what I'm saying very seriously. Don't just laugh. Listen. Who hates you also matters. When your boss hates you, you will know that it matters because your life will be miserable. You may be tongue talking, but your boss hates you. Ah, do you know this lady has been serving actively it's time to promote her I, I just hate her please another time and that another time is after three years but there's somebody they can like you and say, ah, has this person not been in this office for up to two years they say, yes sir I thought it's three three years I, say, I changed the policy somebody like Daniel and could not sleep in the night because some people manipulate a king Stop sleep because he liked Daniel. Early in the morning, he got up by himself. Oh, Daniel, has your God been able to deliver you? Daniel said, I'm alive. He said, bring all those people. Daniel didn't say, please, can you help me punish these people? The king said, me, bring them, throw them, kill all of them. Somebody, because he likes you, can fight your enemies for you. Enemies you don't have capacity to fight. Somebody can like you and put himself inside your situation. What is going on here? Sir, they want to collect our land. Our father is dead. We are only two. He said, no way. I'm a lawyer. Come and meet me in my office. I'm a lawyer. I'm a senior advocate. What did the person say? Because of that, we will charge him to court. He will not only return the land, he will give you part of the money for the foundation. I know what to do. Let's go. And you are seated somewhere and you see people building a house you know nothing about because somebody liked you who likes you can change your life write this down one person can open a hundred doors of opportunities for you one person one man one person in your life showing you favor can open a hundred doors of opportunities first samuel 16 verse 22 please give it to us quickly First Samuel 16 verse 22. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Saul sent to Jesse saying, Let David, I pray thee, stand before me. Why? For he had found favor in my sight. Go and tell that boy's father, bring me that smelly boy regardless of what it is let me tell you when you find favor before a man regardless of what your limitations are they are ignored to bless you you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life now this is coming as a shock to many of us write it down we're getting deeper now you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life if one day god will bless me it's a joke you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life the bible tells us 
in first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 that samuel grew in favor with god and with men first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 2 26 and the child samuel grew on and was in favor both with what the lord and also with men listen it is one thing to have favor with god it is an end entirely different thing to have favor with men i know so many people who have favor with god but they don't have favor with men luke chapter 2 verse 52 same thing was said about jesus luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and with men a man can increase in favor with god and favor with men the number one reason for the hardship in people's lives is lack of favor. Lack of favor. I have seen gifted people who don't have favor. I have seen blessed people in terms of abilities. I have seen gifted architects, no door of favor. Gifted engineers, gifted doctors, gifted students, no favor. I have seen gifted men. Have you seen men who are gifted? They do work for you and you are like, my God. And you are at this level. I know people who know everybody known. Yet there is no favor in their life. You know that? They know Senate President. They know one, the chairman of their local government. The governor's friend is their father's friend. And they, have, they will show you the numbers of people. If I show you, look at this is Saraki's number. This is Dogara's number. In fact, do you know that when I was staying in Lagos, there was a day that Osimba Joe came to our house. I know him, oh, and there's no favor. They watch everybody on TV. Ah, that's Ambassador ABC. You remember him now, 1971. No favor. No favor. To be gifted is not enough. You need favor. You need men to partner with your life. This ministry, by the grace of God, is rising not just in terms of finances because of favor favor my life today is is a humbling testimony of god's favor psalms 102 verse 13 Psalms 102 verse 13. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman. Why? For the time to favor him. Yea, the set time. There is a set time for favor. And everyone prophesy to yourself, say, this is my set time. Say it again, this is my set time. Turn it into a prayer in one minute. Lord, this is my set time. When promise came here he said pray tired of hardship hardship is different from poverty a hard life a life unassisted by men a life unassisted by helpers is a sign of lack of favor you can have money and not have favor when you pay for everything by yourself you don't have favor now is the time, oh God, that you arise. The set time. The set time. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that from this night, favor will begin to follow you? Yes. I don't share my testimonies. Do you know why? Because many people misunderstand my testimonies. When I share testimonies, most people not you but maybe most people will think it is um, it is pride you are boasting what does he think he is if I share with you testimonies of these ministries what does he think he is but sometimes it's good to encourage people testimonies are ways that let people know God is at work but because we live in a cynical world every time you speak people think you are bragging Listen, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, God is my witness and ask everybody who is close to me. I only fund less than 20% of my life ex expenditure. 
everything almost everything in my life is paid for by men everything everything now you can have the money to pay for it by yourself we are not the same you are not assisted are we together most people think having money is all there is to favor no the ability to have men stand up and say promise i am determined to make you succeed if you don't believe that thing there's no need for a comment for koinonia this night i looked at certain things in the body of christ and i looked at certain men i looked at certain ministries and i saw tears some testimonies of favor their life revolved as they wanted it was as if there was a charm anyone who saw them bless them one of the greatest people let me tell you i am convinced i received the impartation of favor directly from dr mike modok i knew when it came upon my life you know why he's a man that is greatly criticized in the body of christ because of seed 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 and all of that i may not necessarily believe everything but i saw on common favor on common a favor like a charm and while others were grumbling i said lord this man is an apostle of wisdom he is the gift of god to the body he represents the spiritual system that controls wisdom and the bible says with me wisdom now are riches wealth and honor durable riches and righteousness he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice and i said lord this thing must happen in my life at that time you don't ever see somebody say god said i should do this god said i, I used to think those things were just stories you know when i think about my life today i almost want to shed tears you know why because i am a product i am if you are ever looking for a man who answers that name ebenezer that a man that god has helped god lifted your hands that's why when I worship God, I, 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 I do it. I live a very happy and a very peaceful life because I found the key to God's favor. There is no time in my life when I lack men to rise and assist and defend. This ministry, you see, we are not just fearfully blessed just because of tithes and offerings. The ministry of men strange dimensions of favor that i begin to share with you many of you will be afraid how do they get money we are not herbalists favor when you access these laws it will change you overnight are we together i'm wetting your appetite and then i'm going to teach you quickly while i begin to teach them just bring the vessels and then we'll pour the oil because what is coming upon you tonight is the grace for favor. I want you to believe it. There is such an impartation upon a man for favor. Father, please let your people believe you. Please, please let your people believe you. If you don't believe this, you will pay for it. I promise you. There are times for months months i never go to the atm i even forget that i have an atm there is no 24 hours no 24 hours that somebody does not bless me no 24 hours i can give you my phone now and you can check from when i sat down till now a lot upon a lot how they got my account number i don't know brothers and sisters there are properties that have been given to me today i don't know where it is i've not gone there to see it do you believe in favor i shared with you last year about the gold mine 18.7 hectares of a gold mine given for nothing three kings came together and said we must make sure he has it 
is not by might it is not by power are we together there are tailors that sew my clothes aside from one i have never as aside from another again two really one a cousin to reverend george adeboe of rema he may even be listening now with his wife every time i travel to lagos to a particular church for meeting there he comes with his wife materials upon materials favor there are bags full of gifts i have not opened since they came i don't even know what is there who told you favor does not work there are mysterious people who have sent a lot in millions to this ministry nobody knows who they are they didn't even call to say i am so 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 and so what makes you think there is no favor I have never bought a car with my money. I have never bought a car for myself with my money. The only car I ever bought with my money was to bless my mother. All the cars you see came to favor. Not one naira. I know many of you are just knowing it now. There is not one car that came hear what I'm saying? You have to believe this. I hope you don't think I'm bragging. I'm opening your eyes to know that there is such a thing as favor. We've been to the airport many times and I'm sitting minding myself and somebody just comes. Oh, this and that and that. And you go and people cry and say recession and cry. Listen, there are businessmen who covenanted with God that a percentage of their profits every time they transfer to me. I don't know them. I only got a text. This is our covenant with God. My phone right now currently has a recharge card of 62 what will I do with it? What do you do with a recharge card of 62,000? What do you do with it? It's more than the price of the phone. something do you like it there is a woman here i don't know if she's here i wish she were here i would have said she should stand up yesterday after school of ministry i was at the back and a gentleman just came trusting god i think he's here and you know just felt he wanted to sow something and just held some very serious amount dropped it now i see these things all the time and i thank god but it was a woman's testimony that blessed me i saw her with a big bag some of you who were big um, bucket a small bucket and i said madam what is this she came with her son do you know what she said she said man of god i was having a dream and in that dream you said you wanted to eat chinchin and the mother the woman got a bucket full of chinchin and came yesterday it is still it is still i've not even opened it to see what is there chinchin Day and night, day and night, day and night. This is the only 
way you can succeed and accelerate your life. Any other thing you will cry and weep and hate people. That's why we cannot give. Because after sweating so much for 50,000, will you really be able to give it? Are we blessed? Testimonies. There is no place and there is no day that I wake up. I wake up every day. May God forgive me if I'm lying. There is no day I don't wake up in the morning with text messages, with recharge cards and bank alerts. Every day, including today, without fail. This is how I live. Because I found from scripture that he daily loads us with benefits. Sometimes I can be sitting down and see a conga van. You ask the boys that work for me. A conga van, bam, just stops. Somebody has ordered something and paid for it. Put my address. And they are offloading these things. And I'm saying, God, what is this? What are you doing to me? And God says, no, you can stop it. You can stop it if you want. I'm waiting your appetite to activate this key. Do you really think you can live a joyful life? When you sit down, you really think your salary is what is going to bless you? To be established? Who lied to you? There is a realm of favor. Are we together? I've shared with you the testimony of this ministry. Where a woman, after a program in Lagos, the woman just came, knelt down in front of me and looked at me and said, please, the Lord led her to give us a land and gave us a land in Lekki. It's still there. I've not been there in years to see it. People have called me and said they gave me a land allocated to sell man of god on behalf of our business we put a b c d portion this is for you and i'm saying god what is this they gave us an assignment to develop maybe a 40 50 estates you know houses and all of that a man of god just to let you know that we have three or four units as our own commission and when we are done one of the units is yours and i'm saying what is this you see why I don't share my testimonies because it makes people angry and when it makes people angry they hate most people sit down and say preachers carry people's money tithes and offerings how much how much access access are we together now on, on Tuesday, we're going to Kano tomorrow, and on Tuesday, we're going to Nigerian Immigration Services, their headquarters, where the top leaders of Nigerian immigration across the whole nation. I have been with them for how many years now? I think about four, four years. We go there every year. I talk to them, I counsel them. The top of the top leaders. You don't even enter their office, yet for them it's a privilege. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. That's favor. Listen, listen. I'm not teaching you cunningly devised fables. Favor. Favor is not just money. Men are rising to assist you to succeed. After my meeting in Joss, I had a little session for a school of ministry in Joss. And when I was done, a lady walked up and gave me something and said, Please go and give your mother. I said, Hi, this thing is still working. I just met my mother. I said, I met a lady. I don't even know who she is. She said, I should give you. And my mother said, this is what I prayed for. I was telling, I think it was um, a big letter of crayfish. And she said, I should go and give my mother. It is difficult to glorify God when you kill yourself producing the result. There is like Bishop Oyedeko called sweatless triumph. There is such a possibility. If you don't believe it, choose your destiny. But as for me, I have decided that hardship will not age me. I will not sit down and be, I will never come and manipulate you and deceive you. All of you sold to 2,000 naira so that I can have food to eat. Not when there is a God in heaven. How to activate favor? What is the mystery that controls this thing? Favor is not just unmerited access. What is the key? The first key to activating favor 
is sowing the seed of honor the first key to activating favor in your life is sowing the seed of honor write it down honor is the first key sowing the seed not receiving a harvest of honor you must sow the seed for honor because honor is the key for access when you sow seeds of honor you begin to activate favor what is honor the ability to recognize the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness that's honor not just the ability to appreciate it in your heart the ability to recognize the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their honor the seed of honor i don't mean money a seed called honor you sow honor into a man's life there are many people who will never rise in life because of this honor no favor in their life they don't know the difference between a great man and a weak man everybody is the same to them all men are equal and please don't do all of this no honor many of you don't know why we sow seeds of honor we transport you after koinonia do you know why it's a seed of honor we are programming honor upon the ministry it's not just that we have a lot of money when our elderly people come we don't let them join the queue except they want to they sit down it's a seed of honor when i hug our children here it's a seed of honor my life is a walking seed of honor i have mastered sowing seeds of honor the first key to command on ending favor honor honor through conversations honor through your body language honor through your vest your gestures you see an elderly woman and i greet her mama how are you that's the seed of honor oh she cannot speak english no problem mama don't put yourself under pressure you don't have to know english find an interpreter seeds of honor are we together now yes i sow seeds of honor everywhere once you discern difference you sow that seed of honor that you are close to an environment of honor does not mean you will have it you must sow seeds of honor to parents the entire hamper that was given to me while i was in jaws they already know i carried it with the wine and everything and i took it home as i got home i just dropped it when my mother heard i was coming to Josh, she said what do i want i said i'm not sure and she should not do anything my mother refused and said she must do something she made chin chin and made chicken that's my mother but she has discerned that this is not only my son this is a man of god seeds of honor that's why honor keeps coming honor is not coming because she's my mother she's walking these principles let me tell you whoever walks it will receive it bad manners being rude dishonor you are driving favor from your life you don't treat people well you treat everybody like a piece of rag there are men of god who favor stopped in their life when they rose because they have no regard for anybody they receive honor from others but they don't give honor so those lower than them let me tell you the mystery behind stagnation of favor for many men they keep receiving honor those lower than you keep honoring you but then you yourself don't give honor so you remain there and all of them rise and catch up with your level and even go higher than you then you start saying you people are competing with me abi there's no such thing you refuse to rise because you too are supposed to be rising they are sowing seeds of honor if you keep sowing seeds to me in koinonia whether money or whether whatever and i don't do the same thing you need to see me when i stand before greatness you will not know it's the same apostle joshua selma you're talking about if it means me cleaning the shoes i do it with jesus joy honor it's a big secret many of us do not know honor honor i honor the holy spirit with my life i don't just serve him i don't just use him for anointing koinonia honors the holy spirit that's why you see all kinds of signs and wonders we don't ignore his presence it doesn't matter what we are teaching as the worship team whatever happens the holy spirit has unrestrained honor in this ministry that's why we keep seeing signs and wonders that's why we keep seeing him lifting us 
from place to place every church i have gone to i have honored them honor them not in terms of money necessarily but honor them in terms of treating them well i don't climb anybody's pulpit and violate their doctrinal beliefs regardless of what it is i manage whatever it is they believe and i preach well if their pulpit if it's a church that they are not allowed to jump around and move and stand in one place i stand in one place because it is honor and at the end of it they say wow we found a young man who is anointed there are churches i preach you never hear me pray in tongues once it doesn't mean i don't they do not allow that in the open and then i, I subscribe honor are we together i'm showing you success systems these are the mysteries that people have engaged that has changed their lives honor you must sow seeds of honor number two how do i activate favor consistently not today up and tomorrow down to value we've spoken about it you activate favor in your life when you solve people's problems when your life is committed to solving people's problems providing valuable solutions to them is drizzling outside please coordinate them if some of them can come in let's this is coming or they, sh they can get into the the um the canopies thank you so much some of them who can come in you can bring them in but most of them can go to the canopies god bless you and thank you hallelujah solving problems we are blessed as a ministry because we solve problems as i'm teaching now i'm adding value to you is that true I'm adding value. Listen, let me tell you something. Your, when you start solving people's problems, you should do honor. Thank you, sir. There are people I've never seen who call me. Man of God, I just listened to your message, Essentials for a Glorious Relationship. You just saved our marriage. Here is a little seed. Man of God, I just listened to your message, Financial Dominion. Man of God, I just listened to your message, Why Revivals Die. Solving Problems. The moment you solve problems, you show honor. And everywhere there is honor, I teach that there is favor. And everywhere there is favor, there are all kinds of rewards, including finances. So the more valuable you become in solving people's problems, Joseph scheduled a season of favor for himself because he was in the prison and he noticed that the prisoners were not laughing. Dr. Mike Mudo calls wisdom the ability to discern difference. And he saw that their countenance, something was wrong. And he asked them, what is wrong? They were not the ones who came and told him the dream. He said, what is wrong? And he said, ah, okay, you have asked, let me tell you. This is what happened. And he interpreted the dreams and it happened. Value. You must begin to solve people's problems. They will love you. They will honor you. You must cry to God for grace to be a problem solver. You are either creating problems or solving them. You are either creating problems or solving them. If some of these chairs are free, please let, let's not have people stand. They can occupy the chairs. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Number three. The third key to commanding favor in your life is integrity. The third key to activating favor in your life is integrity. Integrity. Very, very important. What is integrity? It comes from the word integer. Sameness. Consistency. Let me tell you something. You're a man of God here. Listen to me. Before people begin to bless you and sow into your church or your ministry, they will probe your life. Don't think because you just started ministry, people will bless you. They will probe your life. They will hear testimonies of changed lives and want to watch whether he's like one of them. After a life, a season of integrity and consistency, then they conclude. You know, let me tell you something. Hold on. Many people think that the moment you are anointed, you are charismatic, 
people will just be loyal to you like that it's a dream there are many anointed people who have attention but no loyalty do you know why because people must vet your life and find out that you are worthy of their loyalty nobody will be loyal to you like that parents will not just ask their children oh i don't have a problem with you loving this man of god give people a chance to probe your life and clear their doubts then they will honor you are we together when we started out in this ministry most people thought that you know we're just joking most people thought it was all this young people's thing and for, for, for years, most people thought I was on serious. It's just all these young guys doing things on campus. It's just these people trying to do something. But eventually, I never was angry with them. Because every great man must be probed. Saying people should not probe you is a joke. They check your character with ladies. They check your character with money. They check your character with discipline. They see how you manage challenges. They see a lot of it is based on that they will say, Kai, this man is worth my commitment. We have seen that God brought two naira to his hand and that two naira did not change him. He did not stop preaching the truth just because he's looking for food to eat. This is a consistent man. This man will be my pastor. There are many people roaming around calling everybody son, calling everybody daughter. What investment have you made in their life? You must allow people to probe you. You start a business and they suspect whether your product... There are people, when I started out, because of the dimension of the anointing in my life, many people thought, you know, you know, anytime you see somebody walking in unusual levels of the anointing, you may think that maybe some kind of charm or whatever it is. And I used to hear people say it and I say, leave them. Even me, if I attended Koinonia and I watched a man called Joshua Selman, I would think he's holding a charm. And then you watch. There are many people, some of you seated today. Years ago, you would be the last person to be here. Because you had your differences. Some of you argued it. But with time, now you are some of the strongest people. Do you know, there are people in many nations of the world. And their assignment is to take koinonia messages. There are whole churches that sit down. And what they use for either evening service or midweek service is a koinonia message. And they just sit down. There are youth groups, youth fellowships around. You know why? Because they took out time to probe you. And when they see integrity, the ability to be unbending regardless of the situations. There are men of God who start teaching and say don't manipulate money from people. But the day they have needs as a ministry, they start bending to that standards. Are we together? Yes. Once people see integrity and consistency, then they make up their minds to listen to anything you say. Listen. Let people probe you until they find a reason to believe you. Never stop anybody. Listen. If there is anything you are unsure of about my life and this ministry, you have a right to sit down and clear your conviction so that you are confident. Are we together? Many of you get angry when people suspect you. <laughs> How come Pastor Alpha have been watching him? The way he has been rising in the last three months. This guy may have taught something. Abba, am I not innocent? Let people probe you. So that when they believe you, they will be the greatest defense. I know you. There are people to do it. They are the ones who are defending this ministry. Ah, no. I used to know this brother. There was a day he gave me 50 naira. He started his giving sins. Do you know the people who accuse you today will be the ones to defend you tomorrow? Give them a chance to have a testimony by themselves. There are people who think the miracles that we announce here are manipulated or faked. Simply because they've heard that maybe some churches do a lot of things. And they come here and then the person who falls under the anointing is seated close to them. They watch it with their own eyes. And then eventually their own sicknesses leave. And they go back and say, wow, I have seen for myself integrity the third key to activating favor consistency integrity unbending unbending consistently producing results when we started the school of ministry this is the fifth set now when we started the school of ministry most people thought it was a joke let me tell you something look up please as a man of god let me give you a great advice the moment you are doing too many things and you cannot continue in them men will stop believing you 
you just get up today and says we have 14 days of fire vigil and then after 12 days a kite we found out that things are happening we are not doing this again there are too many inconsistent people we are going to start koinonia business school and after two weeks nobody comes then you close it when people probe you and they see that you are too erratic you know what it means to be erratic you just come up with programs there's no consistency nobody will submit to such an authority people want to see consistency they want to know that this is who you are they want to know that you can be predictable you never hear anybody come and give testimony here i don't care whether you're a millionaire or whatever i have never gone to the house of anybody in the name of going there to find out and say okay we are some of our top uh, offering givers and tithe payers in koinonia i love you so much and uh, i just wanted you to know that we have the following needs no if i've ever come to your house to tell you we have the following needs stand up hallelujah how many men of god have destroyed integrity from their lives they go around harassing church members and look at people and say uh we don't know if god is speaking to you there's a drum set the thing has turned honestly it's embarrassing and you inconvenience people everywhere integrity please bring bring the, the continuous now number four the third the fourth key to activating favor is quality relationships quality relationships favor is relationship dependent that's why i taught you those other laws quality relationship who you know matters it gives you access men can be wings to you men can become wings to you there are people we know today that can speak for us there are people i know today that can speak for me are we together they can make ex exemptions for you you sow seeds of favor seeds of favor and it changes your life forever relationships number five the third key to activating favor is praying favor provoking prayers there are favor provoking prayers the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that asketh lord open my heavens cause men to bless me put an anointing upon my life that makes men bless me favor provoking prayers you can pray your way among other things into favor favor provoking prayers many of us don't pray i pray it seriously lord this ministry is a well-watered garden people are coming givers are coming my life is a good soil people are sowing into my life as they sow into my life they receive a hundredfold harvest when you sow into a man's life and you receive a harvest nobody will tell you to do it again you will continue doing it again and again and again they sow into your life and nothing happens these are the seeds that you sow and then number six the sixth way of provoking or activating favor in your life is by an impartation from the careers of that anointing an impartation of the grace for favor an impartation of the grace for favor from the careers of the anointing this oil is not what anoints you this oil is simply oil when the oil is anointed then it becomes a medium to bless you the oil in itself has to be anointed this is not anointing oil this is oil after the prayers on it it becomes an anointing oil and it can bless you can favor be transferred can that grace the mantle the grace for favor be transferred absolutely there are people in this ministry that are carrying it bodily there are people who have begun to see it in their lives like day and night people call me all the time and say my god apostle this thing works like charm and tonight it will come upon your life what does favor give you in life speed speed 
what are the benefits of activating favor speed speed something that would take men 10 years can be achieved in three months under an atmosphere of favor What are the benefits of favor? Number two, ease. Ease. The mystery of ease. People like Bishop Oyedeko would call it sweatless triumph. Ease. Where the lines just fall for you in pleasant places and you have a good heritage. Battles that stand before you. While you are preparing to fight them, you open the door and find dead bodies. Favor fought your battles. Favor has fought my battles in life. I have seen ah, for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of my praise. We magnify your name. Koinonia, look at this. We are in Zaria in the north. This whole road. This is a major road, but this whole road is blocked every Friday. Every Friday. Go and try to block a road somewhere in the name of service and see what happens to you. Everything works for our favor in this ministry. Everything, regardless of what it is. You try to fight this ministry, you will watch by yourself activating favor and making it happen. You don't fight a man of favor and win. It's a waste of time. It's like boxing in war. Where a man that carries the mantle of favor is untouchable. Literally untouchable. Because God will raise help left, right and center. Left, right and center. Left, right and center. Many of our parents have no favor. No doors opening for them. Nothing happening. Favor. Koinonia today is a place of favor. 70% of the people who are blessed by this ministry have never seen me. How do you follow a man when the videos are not even uploaded on YouTube? They don't know the picture. The first and only time certain people have seen me is dreams. Yet you listen to the message, it forces you to look for someone and give him. Whether you like it or not. That's not normal. There are people following scattered across different nations this night. Favor has brought me honor. Favor has brought me glory. I have stood before politicians. I have stood before kings. I have stood before billionaires. I have drunk of their minds and their wisdom for free. Men have given me access, uncommon access, uncommon doors. It still happens all the time and it will not fail. There are people who send me text messages every time. Apostle, is there anything we can do for you? We want to do for you. I don't know how many people in this ministry send text messages every time. We want to wash your car. We want to do something. Somebody came early in the morning. I was sleeping and I had, it was like there was water splashing on my car. And I checked and I saw somebody washing my car by force. I know if I ask you, you won't agree. I said, what is this one? Honestly, they even disturb it. Just washing the car with joy. I said, now, if I drive this person, favor. Favor. It is real and it happens. We have sown seeds of favor. We meet the security people. We honor them. We bless them. The, the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers. They come here, some, I'm sure many of them are outside here with the buses and they are waiting. 99% of them are not necessarily Christians. But they love Koinonia and they will come and wait and watch the service and watch everything happening. No complaint. You know why? Because seeds of honor have been sown. Seeds of honor has been sown. There are so many people we have scattered seeds of honor around. Look at CGC and the honor that they have shown this ministry. 
I have never seen a ministry with men of God as humble and members that love Jesus and truthfully like the members in this church. You see, you see, it is true. It is true. It is from my heart and it is true. Hallelujah. Some of the pastors are my fathers and literally those men can see me and just greet like this. And I'm wise enough to know that whilst they are sowing seeds of honor, I must sow seeds of honor. Every time people sow seeds of honor, sow it back. Don't receive and wait. You receive, they have risen, but you have remained where you are. They will be calling you a superstar, but it will be for a short time until they catch up with you. Somebody blesses you. Ah, um, Pastor Alpha, bless you. You reciprocate back. That way, both of you have risen. We sow into the lives of mission agencies because we honor what they represent. That's why souls continue to be saved here. David Biome, the Lord asked him to go and meet Billy Graham before he dies. And David Biome traveled to America, carried a very huge seed, sowed into the life of Billy Graham. And Billy Graham said a word of prayer for him. He said he came back and preached a very simple message. And about one third of the church came out for altar call. He carried something. Whenever you see consistency, there is something. Tonight, you are about to receive an impartation. This may be one of the most important days in your life. Some of you have never had a man of God impart anything upon you. You have gone for anointing services. Some of you have all kinds of oils in your house. Oil does not anoint. The oil is anointed to anoint. Is God speaking to us? We need to have results in our lives. We are still praying. But you see, God is not a herbalist. No. There are systems. There is a way that he works. And one of the ways that he works is to direct men. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it, and you will find rest for your souls. Are, are, you, are you hearing what I'm saying now? It matters. God is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say, you are, you are hurrying up too much. You think it's breakthrough. You are running. You will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle. For someone, after this service, you need to go and calm down with your life. And say i've been running since 2005 what have i done with my life absolutely nothing oh come lord jesus come and direct me give me direction are we together the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong not even bread for them that are wise when a man subscribes to the direction of God, your life may look controversial for a while, but all that will be before you is beauty and glory. Then your life will become Beulah and Hephzibah, the delight of the nations, the excellency of waiting. The hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait. It's easy to rush. It's easy to do a lot of things. You will make more mistakes in your life rushing. There is power in waiting. Are we together? There is power in waiting. We are going to pray for the sick now. There is a lot to do tonight. But listen very carefully. If this message is for you, then I want you to receive it from the depth of your heart. You know, when we come like this, there are various things that the Lord is doing to several people. Not everyone is sick. Not everyone is oppressed. But a word can come and God says, be careful. There are people about to relocate now to regions. They have not sought God. They just assumed. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. There is no place on earth called greener pastures. Greener pastures is a spiritual location. It's where the voice of God for you is. God is already helping someone. How many Nigerians smuggled their way through the desert? trying to get to lands because they believe 
the only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern appreciate and reward value that's all they have a greater propensity to discern to appreciate and to reward value you can be where you are if you are truly directed by god and he will come to you and bless you are we together now how many of you are trusting the lord to touch you or touch your loved ones we are going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer i want to settle down and really really pray seriously and just dismantle a number of things in our lives the grand finale will be on friday but then you are here we're going to pray for the sick now i promise that we'll do that very early so that we can finish and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of god is an opportunity to watch lord what are you doing how does this thing work what can i learn you must remain a student we are all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting god for a healing miracle if you are in overflow one now hold on i want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three please i want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting god for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you are here and you're you're yet to write your prayer request go ahead you can spare a few minutes to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe asks you or prophesies to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you i notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the lord is showing me something about this woman <laughs> You don't have fallopian tubes at all. Oh my God. They've removed it. Your husband got another wife. Creator of the universe, what can you do? this precious lady I don't know you I'm just seeing you for the first time I'm not a woman so I can't pretend to say I know what is happening here but for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage let me ask you a question and I'm asking it boldly do you believe that God can give you new fallopian tubes Where are you coming from? Madam, let me tell you, there is a God that sits in heaven. God is not a herbalist. He's a miracle worker. Put your hand on your stomach. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus. Father, that's all right. I decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes. The God that doeth wonders, brand new fallopian tubes. I say it again, brand new fallopian tubes. Madam, allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital. Give Jesus praise. 
Please help this woman. It's an elderly woman. Help her, help her. So she help her. In the name of Jesus, Mama God is delivering you. In Jesus' name. The Lord is showing you somebody. Just, just hold on. You, you will sing, you will go back to your singing. I just want to. I'm seeing the someone, the power of God is going to come upon you here. You are here right now on the line. I want to prophesy to that person. I, I just saw a flash of light, a very strong anointing. Bring the person. The Lord is rolling away the reproach in your life. And the Lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I declare to you, not only will you or your brother be healed, I decree and declare salvation comes to your family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sing for us that song, Creator of the Universe. Creator of the Universe. What can you do?
looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing fibroid. Is that true? How long? Seven years. Fibroid. Confirmed in the hospital. That devil is going to leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you have children, ma? I've not married. You are not married? Oh my God. Now you be God, Almighty God. I'm not the 
praise the Lord. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over the next half of this year. Hear the word of the Lord. Become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone. Shalakato Sabra Hasidekadebakata. Make sure you are praying. Praise God. Please keep praying, keep praying. Let it become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Seasons of signs and wonders. Hallelujah. So after me in the name of Jesus. Please let's be serious. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension of the anointing. Required for my next level of exploits. I receive it tonight in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and please pray. Every dimension. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. That's the next prayer point. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto me. One more time. Everything. Restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and even the palmer worm has taken. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left. I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare. Thank you. 
the name of Jesus Christ. Say it again in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over my loved ones. Hear the word of the Lord. This is your season of rising. Lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones. Please believe what you are saying. Prophesy. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. This is your season of rising. A new level, a new dimension in the spirit. says the Egyptians you see today he said you will see them for no more forever I like you in the next five minutes everything that has attempted to mock God in your life don't be afraid open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the spirit you are living my life and my family forever open your mouth and pray declares thou that ye might as be justified pray don't entertain unbelief I cause poverty I cause failure pray Jesus cause the victory Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that my help comes from above I decree and declare that my help comes from the Lord and in this season I prophesy to my destiny Ebenezer receive the help of God lift your voice and pray come for help
Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. Was he praying? Many of us here, all you need is the ministry of helpers. Are we together now? The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. Do you know why he spoke about the hills? Because God used the strategy of the hill to protect the people. Every time there was war, he would lead them up the hill. And if they got there, there would always be victory. Remember Elijah. When, it, when there was time for any contest, he would say, go up the hill. Mount Carmel, Mount Zion, Mount this and that. And so he said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. But he said, no, no, no where comments my help he said my help the, the hill is only a strategy the hill is not my source and then he says my help cometh that means just like faith help to cometh faith cometh help cometh your help can come from other places by divination and witchcraft a man can attract a system of attention but he will pay for it listen Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man. Blessed is a man that finds help from God. Many people are suffering because there is no help. Life can be cheap when there is help. Believe me when I tell you this. How much is the rent that the God of heaven cannot pay it? How much is it? What is the job issue with a single signature? A man's life can change but i told you every man who helps you has relatives who are in need it takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you this world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default i like you to cry father in this season i'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny helpers please open your mouth and cry be serious some of you are looking at me pray pray name of Jesus was you praying this prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service and I want you to pray because people are receiving results we are still going to pray over the issue of help let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters you see this ministry by the grace of God is a product of the help of God my life as a person is a product of the help of God it is vain my Bible says to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said for he giveth his beloved sleep there are men of God that need help there are anointed people that need help there are intelligent graduates that need help there are married men and women that need help 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all in god can step in and you have value you are package your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at the my god arise for me as a helper Shaka Barakatos, Shaka Takata Kataka Takata, Rakata Pakato Shaka Taka 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 Shama Sonda Barakatos Yatakata. Help for my family, O God. We cry for your help. Pray for your business. Arise, O God, as a helper. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that dream. And then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Everything that is alive grows. I provoke growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen. You are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> In Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful, they will not persecute him. But he was one out of many. I saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to one person. And the brother said, no way. And they walked him out. My Bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household. Sometimes it's not binding and casting. Lord, show them mercy too. So that as I'm rejoicing, they will rejoice and leave me in peace. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I provoke divine help over my loved ones. I prophesy to them that in this season, receive the help of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones. Financial help, spiritual help, career help. Help, oh God. Shabakatos, Shabros Ketabarakato Shanamakata. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37. And he took me in the spirit of the Lord. And he took me to a valley. And the Bible says that valley was full of bones. And it says the bones were very dry. Bones don't dry up in one day. It means they have been there for a long time. We want to visit age-long situations that have refused to go. You were born and you met that problem. You have become an adult. You have met that. No, no, no. It must go. That it has stayed long does not mean it's valid. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dry bone in my life and in my family hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare. Let life come to you now. Lift your voice and pray. Prophesy life. Your father lost his job since 1991. Till today he has not gotten a job. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. All ministry, hear the word of the Lord. All business, hear the word of the Lord. All destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that where the word of the king is, there 
And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, And as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabbalah Kota Shikata. And then the bones were there but there was no life he says son of man prophesy again to the four winds and say oh wind breathe upon this lane and the wind came and breathed upon the bones and there arose an exceeding great army listen god is able god is able to turn a man's captivity overnight he said have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day but he said as soon as zion travails we know that birth is nine months but something can happen to the rod of aaron and it can burn overnight with no root i like you to say lord let the supernatural work in my life in this season business at a supernatural rate ministry at a supernatural rate if it is the lord's doing then it must be marvelous in my eyes lift your voice and pray as soon as zion travails as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a son as soon as zion travails pray hallelujah hallelujah the apostle said i desired once again to come to you but satan hindered us your breakthrough desire to come to you but satan hindered it your helpers desire to come to you have you seen a situation Jimmy, where someone is about to bless you but before you reach your helper your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you he said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please i'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray we are not here to waste time brothers and sisters this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom are we together he says do not be ignorant of the devices the methodologies from the word stratomai the methodology of satan there are methods he said do not let your good be evil spoken of have you seen that that's a method that i call you and satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm I just call you to say how are you and he says so you are mocking me it's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him do you think they just didn't please carry your healing rubbish and go how many men of God were sent by God to families to help them but the devil changed their perception over that grace say no 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 anything pastor they are all riffraffs they are beggars they are liars they are hungry people they just want my money it's a strategy someone wants to teach you something and help you say no this this guy don't no 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 I desired once again to come to you but Satan hindered us how many people today would have been helped by God are we together now you heard that they are applying jobs but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed we need to cry to God to help us know what is of God and what is not of God because many times they look the same is the spirit of discernment that will help you 
five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of zarephath the fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of god is insufficient please listen to me there are people today who have been ordained to be blessed to listen but satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is god are we together i remember a few years ago i went to a house to pray for them i was invited and i got to the house i usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them and i went to the house and uh, um i just saw the man the, the owner of the house the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me here they come these hungry young men again i tried to greet him i even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion and that man from what i saw didn't have up to two months to live And I sat down, I was talking with the family and the man was just looking, you know, you know, all this, do, do and leave my house. Until by the mercies of God, God began to speak to him. At the end of it, it was him that escorted me out. He said, ah, ah, you are, you are, you know, my friend, he collected my, I said, look at this man would have missed this miracle. Brothers and sisters, some of our loved ones, you know what I'm saying, are like that. Their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years. They organized a program near your house. And they say no 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 once it is not you it is not god it's an error what of business opportunities just because people have been scammed here just because something came out and something happened there be anything business god forbid don't even mention anything oh sorry dear sir. no 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 don't talk to me and then you remain poor and broke and say god what is wrong he told joshua be strong and of good courage in life it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes 28 of genesis god came to jacob and jacob out of his fear and cynicism was not ready for that visitation the next verses would lead him to the house of laban where he learned by his pain by chapter 32 he was ready the bible says when god came again he held him he said whether you are not god i will shall hold you it's in your holding i will find out i won't let you go till you bless me he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no more be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and you have prevailed and he touched his tie and blessed him and the bible says then the sun arose and he called the name of the place peniel for he had met with god face to face i have seen god face to face and my life arose and the bible says then the sun arose because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy for as long as it is night weeping endures are we together i want us to maximize these meetings let's not just come before god and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back it's time for us to move the bible says how forcible are right words you are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you are we together i know i took i think i took i don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny help us Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen. A helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. Some men came to David in a cave called Adullam and they vowed that we must make you king. You are seeing a man who is already weak. No result. 
ah, when your helpers come to you it will look like a charm there will be no reason for them to remain they will call you have you gotten the job sir no sir ah, after okay i'm going to abuja for you and you start saying i hope there's no string attached no 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 i only saw myself helping you in a dream are we together every destiny helper has those in need please hear me graduates hear me oh every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected but when god decides to help you he said jacob have i loved jacob have i loved hallelujah jacob have i loved God changes the rules as if it's unfair to you. Hapa. There is such a dimension. The helper of Israel. When you labor and labor and labor and labor, you'll be lying to say you are giving God glory. There are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality. The way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when God places a demand. Greed has an explanation when you when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship you can't give but if it's freely you received it freely you will give are we together your destiny is one helper away by the privilege of god's grace i've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people and overnight they got jobs without interview just because i happen to know someone in a position of influence and i say sir please there is someone can you help me i say apostle if it's you that's it the same way someone too has spoken is the help of god we rise by his help your business will open up by his help everything you have is needed on earth but it takes god to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace it is the help of god that brought us here brothers and sisters the help of god there are pastors that need the help of god you can blow balloon and put it around you can do everything and find out that the people come and say it's cold don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you yet somebody called by god to help you will stand in the rain and say i'm sent and i'm not going anywhere when last did you receive help in your life when last did you receive help please hear what i'm telling you do you know if you do things alone and by yourself you are not blessed even if you succeed in doing it help help that god arises for a man and say young men established within 10 years but i have chosen promise that in one month i will do i will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you you would not believe hallelujah a few weeks ago someone called me he was he was he's planning on getting married and he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago and the list was quite voluminous and it's challenging and he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of god or not i told him i said no that that is a foolish that is a foolish concern are you seeing the, you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list you are now seeking whether it's the will of god going behind what is there to ask whether it's the will of god or not listen I know that it looks like it's just a joke but it's a serious issue how many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help no help ask the medical doctors they will tell you you buy a car alone you look for food alone you walk alone you seek counsel by yourself you advise yourself no helper you see people moving like Cain all around nobody to help nobody to advise you their pastor pastor bolaji do you know sometimes pastor bolaji would call me 
and say man of god how is everything happening i hope here in the north there's nothing you know this and that you're fine everything and i say oh pastor you're a busy man why do you have to do this and he said we need to encourage ourselves and i said my god help 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 are you ready for god to really help you our message is by the grace of god are being spread on eagle's wings is by the spirit but is through the help of men 70 percent of the invitations where i go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say bring this man of god i know see all these people from the north no 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 i know this one who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed but it will take mordecai uh, mordecai mordecai is outside but mordecai needs to find favor with the king but it will take god using someone inside joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne a wine presser needs to split your case before the king one more time father listen listen whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level please send them to send them my way i want i i cry that you pray with all your heart men can be helped of god my help cometh from the lord there were many widows in zarafat they all needed help but to none was elijah sent except a widow in zarafat how about the rest there were many widows also needing help but god chooses to send a prophet to just one of them hallelujah the last prayer point and then we'll pray here the bible says according as his divine power please listen hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness to life i will never be the man of god who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth no no there are matters that pertain to life there are matters that pertain to godliness his divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life i should not serve god and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food he says since i was young now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread you know many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual i can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly are we together the ladies that go into prostitution do they go into prostitution with poor men the young men that join occults all these cult groups vibrant young people and the next thing you see they are in a devilish cult somewhere it's easy for us to criticize them but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity as a man of god i must be compassionate enough about your situation thank god for your spiritual life but i want you to do well that's what success means are we together i have food in my house right now but do you have food only a wicked man of god will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others a true shepherd lays down his life doesn't climb on the ship some of you sow into my life i must teach you how others will also sow into your life it can't be all about me you are bringing seeds you are blessing me and i'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life but how about you i came with a passion tonight if one person rises in a ministry alone is that a blessing no he called many sons to glory not a few 
there are many of you with business ideas there are many of you with ministries there are many of you desperately waiting for a job and men are beginning to say where is your god you are no longer young you have been praying and fasting and doing all of this if you cannot bring fruits that befit your work with god we will stop you from coming for koinonia or we will stop you from doing this and god wants to arise and prove himself mighty why won't you pray well when you eat well why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for i have the privilege by the mercies of god to support many families here and sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears after a powerful meeting and i see someone standing and say sir my children once upon a time two dear ladies here for five years a jimmy just to buy jam form beautiful wonderful godly ladies and that's exactly what satan wants after the prayer after falling under the anointing you get up and your needs remain and you sit in the night and say look can't i do something the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly was it not hunger that took israel to egypt talk to me was it prosperity that took them there no there was hunger in the land and israel had to go to egypt to look for food they went to egypt and stayed until they became slaves when they began to say it's time for our exodus pharaoh looked at them and said uh-huh you are beginning to find some level of convenience don't give them straw is because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the lord leave them to find straw by themselves and they say moses don't go to pharaoh again every time you want to rise it's like a it's like a thermometer the devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate economically and otherwise i stand to tell you you can be of influence you can be prosperous and you can be spiritual jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors torn trouser torn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house he say but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly all of a sudden you find out that your wife is pregnant and they say just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine you say i don't have anything say well the god that we serve is a victorious god are we together many of you have the hearts to support the kingdom but the means is not there listen to me listen to me for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave in life i give you a guarantee for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave the anointing comes upon you but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea to get jesus from the cross it was not a prayer warrior that brought jesus from the cross a prayer warrior supervised his birth but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection we're a ministry of prayer we're a ministry that fasts we're a ministry of the word but we must be a ministry with results that are all around 
and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like naaman you may be the captain of a great army the bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life i'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present christ well let's cry together and say god you have done well in this area and i thank you but lord i cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the lord in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you lord you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor keep praying i just want to say thank you so Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. from the dead that Lord every request here before you upon this altar I ask my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies it is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and lord in the name that is above all names we provoke your integrity over these issues 
lord there are issues here that only god can solve some of the issues represented here are life and death issues we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart Lord I will search for you and I will find you I will find you with all my heart and I will lift my voice to you in worship I will worship You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. I speak over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before God be turned now into supernatural testimonies may God turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ just give me two three minutes and we're done I want to speak over your life now when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands everything represents shame and reproach in your life i cry to the god of heaven to roll it away like smoke before the wind in the name of jesus christ i pray for every man of god represented here fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar in the name of jesus christ every issue of concern in your career in your business and in your life i send the word of god like a messenger to reproduce the garden of eden over your issue in the name of jesus christ when a man's ways pleases the lord he maketh even his enemy to be at peace with him i declare whoever must be at peace must be at peace with you to rise i command peace to happen between you master we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i want to prophesy to you where you failed before go back again with an anointing go back
up with the grace that makes men succeed in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord visited Sarah and she called the name of her son Isaac he said all those who hear about this will laugh with me I introduce you to a new season of laughter 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 turn again our captivities like the streams of the Negev I pray for you it will be like a dream of the night the way God will turn your life around anyone here under the plague of death any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy i decree oh death where is thy sting and oh grave where is thy victory i command death to pass from over you in the name of jesus he said let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield every ground can yield i command your ground to produce for you Amen. daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downwards he said but there is a god that revealed secrets i pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my God open your eyes to see it and the Bible says that you shall be called all nations shall call you blessed and you shall be called a delightsome land it's called Beulah and Hephzibah a land that is desirable and isaac looked at his sons and said the smell of my son is like the field that the lord has blessed i decree and declare may the fragrance of heaven that calls for favor to men may it come upon your life now in the name of jesus christ it says thou causes men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place i decree and declare help even in the area of finances may it arise for you i say it again help even in the area of finances may it arise for you finally i pray for every family represented here and that includes those connecting with us online it doesn't matter what part of the world you are following from in the name that is above all names the lord has made a, declar a declaration that this is our year of signs a sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it therefore i decree and declare may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders i say it again may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus wave your hands and give Jesus praise thank you Jesus hallelujah paradventure you are here in this place tonight everyone please listen please no moving around let's honor the name of the Lord you are here you have seen what the Lord has done you've heard me teach and the Holy Spirit began to convict you to tell you that the time had come for you to make Jesus Lord of your life and to take him seriously I want to give you that opportunity right now there are people here saying apostle I've heard about God I've been around the things of God I've been around church I have a Christian name my father may even be a man of God my mother is an intercessor but I I declare my need for God tonight and then there are others here who are saying apostle i have given my life to christ but at one point or the other i just found my life going haywire and i'm saying i need jesus if you belong to any of these categories i'd like you to make a bold step overflow one overflow two the main auditorium you can walk and come out here and then overflow three you can go 
in front of your projector stand if you are there please make your way quickly let's honor them as they come the holy spirit is convicting someone don't wait for someone to come be the first god bless you koinonia you are appreciating them in the name of jesus christ there has to be someone making a decision for jesus god bless you god bless you keep clapping as they come win that war tonight win that war god bless you as you come it says he that cometh to him he will in no wise cast away make your way make your way to this front god bless you keep coming we have one minute for you if you're coming from outside please double up your steps very quickly very quickly say call for total surrender lord you gave me your life i'm giving you mine right now are there people still coming make your way very quickly apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not i've been around the things of god but i'm not exactly sure join them join them quickly when the titanic sank there were only two names those who were lost and those who were saved no in-betweens make your way quickly hallelujah i salute every one of you if you are joining them please join them very quickly overflow three you can move to the front of your projector those online giving their hearts to jesus just follow and pray along with us by faith in the name of jesus now i want you to lift your right hand sincerely you're not reciting a poem you are speaking to the lord and he's here listening to you say after me lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me i believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight i hand over my life to you and i receive your life in return i declare that the power of sin the power of the flesh the power of satan is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god i am saved the grace to walk in victory to walk in liberty is mine now in jesus name keep your hands lifted jesus i present to you the ones you died for we thank you for bringing these ones out no man can come to the father except you draw them lord jesus i pray that the grace that keeps men in this kingdom let it be supplied your people right now in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life and i decree that you are going forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ every challenge you came here with as a result of this new life let new victories come for you in jesus name i pray a big congratulations to you thank you so much now i want you to follow someone waving his hands there's a gentleman waving his hands there can i see who is waving his hands now please very quickly i'd like you to follow him all of you in concerts just follow the gentleman there'll be a group of people to just meet with you very quickly and very briefly let's honor them <laughs> hallelujah hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain